Hello and welcome back to Slime Rancher, uh, part 17. I, before we start, I need to let you know, it took me 30 minutes just to take care of my farm and do some changes. As for the changes, let me show you. So, as you can see here, I did what I intended to do. I made the hunter quantum hunters, and then I moved my honey hunters from the docks over here because they're very similar uh, Largo types to these guys. So I have two sets of hunters. Oh, why is this at two? I should have put this at one, right? Or maybe I oh no, I remember now when I put it at two because there's seven in here, right? Let me see one. No, they're invisible, so it's hard to tell. No, there's six. Anyway, I'll put it at one. Sorry, I get, I get distracted too easily. But these guys, these guys are awesome. I'm loving the bits, right? And I want to get their plorts, yes, to sell, because, you know, money is important. But also for the refinery. And in today's part, we're going to be trying to fiddle with this a lot more. Yes, we made it to the ancient ruins last time. But this time around, I would really like to continue getting as many materials as possible to continue making things to help the farm, right? So like, here's the drone, it was just to show you, holy crap. Honey plorts, quantum plorts, hunter plorts, wild honey, jelly stones, and hexacombs to make one drone. So the wild honey is the thing that kind of bothers me a little bit because I'm gonna need this 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 thing right here, apiaries, right? Apiaries? Ap I'm gonna do one of each again and make it run for the 12 minutes. Oh boy, these guys are... See, so the quantum... About the quantum slimes. Any quantum slime or Largo creates duplicates of itself almost as if it seems like it's out of the cage, but it's not. And it just throws me for a loop every single time. And there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, so we got those guys working for us. Uh, while those things are working, I want to take a look as, uh, as well. This, the pink teleporter. I need hexacombs and strange diamonds. The thing is, I think I remember in the deep brines, which I don't have a lot of, but the strange diamonds, that's actually a really rare drop. But to be honest with you here, the pink teleporter is a really good s thing to have because, because, of course, I'm, st I'm going brain dead again. I'm sorry. The pink teleporter is good because you can put two anywhere and it'll teleport you to that next point. So instead of having to run all the way through, go to the ancient ruins, go through the gate, I can just put a pink teleporter here in the farm and let it set me to the ancient ruins. And that's how good it is, right? There's also more blueprints that I can obviously unlock, right? Like the pink warp depot. Um, I'm actually looking for something similar to this, but not quite. Because from what I remember, there should be something that is like a portable stock market thing so like instead of having to go all the way to where the stock market is next to your house you can have it anywhere oh the mint mangoes are ready i'll keep them there because they're, they're they're properly fed it's all good right and you could just have it anywhere so like i would have one of those in the docks because i'd rather not walk all the way from the docks to here right and then back in the case that i need to hold more so that that was the gist of that oh but look uh but there's a side quest here we could do it but I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, we got that mail from uh, Ogden, which was, you know, go to his place, see what we can help him out with. And here we are. Let's do it. Let's see what's up. Oh, you can also see right ahead of us, more plots of land, but this is his ranch, so it's obviously blocked off. Things are coming down to the retreat. I built this place years ago, a vacation spot, Island of the Wilds. It has a rare fruit, Kuka... Ku Okay, I know it's a made-up word and all, but like, why? Kukadoba. Sure. It's the most delectable, irresistible fruit to the known universe. So he has got weird tastes. And okay, so let me just skip this. I, I took a lot of time talking to Mochi, or like reading Mochi's text box, but what he basically has to say is, look, same thing. Bring him this fruit, and he'll give you one tofu. And the thing about this tofu is that it's liked by every slime. It's every slime's favorite. And then when you give him a certain amount of more fruits, he gives you like bonuses to your farm when it comes to like, you know, making your own fruits and vegetables. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a try. It's dangerous though, which is why I'm glad I have the hen hens. And there's no map. You just have to know where to go on your own. And a teleport point will only ever pop up whenever it feels like it. 
So, here we go, I guess. We gotta look for these fruits, which are right here. Kuka Doba. You have to be crazy to collect these things, because as you can tell, look, it's all aggroed slimes, and they want you. And they will take a bite out of you, whether you like it or not. So you just have to run with it and be done, right? Luckily, your health regens. Oh, there's a mushrooms. But I did find one, though. Whee! So I already got three, so that means I get one tofu, but I need 75. Five total to be able to actually do anything like with it like worthwhile which is like stuff that just helps you with your um oh there's also heartbeats here um that help you with your farm that green thing that you saw there though from the statue I don't fully recall how it works but there's something very specific that you have to throw in it so that when you do out of my way so that when you do uh, it'll break it apart for you like it's something you can't break if you shoot it at the wall You have to use that and it'll break it for you. Oh So I only I just realized I only have meat so like these guys don't just eat meat as you guys can see Right like the boom ones would right But these guys they would eat fruit, but as you could tell there are actually uh, Like just stuff for you around like let's Feed the hen and him. Oh boy. Wait, I know that slime. Sabers. So I am missing something. These are all sabers, so I can feed meat to them and everything will be okay. Okay, cool. Which means. Give me that. This is perfect. Hold on, I just remembered something. Oh, they hurt though. You're you're friendly though. And then Tars come up. And Tars are actually your best friend in this place. You actually want Tars here. Because the Tars will eat the other slimes. And if they do... You know, that'd be great because... Oh, then the Tars I'd kick your ass though. So that's never great. Five. I just need one more. Hold on. Here. There we go. Ow. That was just the rock. Okay, now I got six saber plorts. Good. I'm out of here. That's what I actually care about more. You can only find saber stuff here in this thing, right? Oh, so many tars. But I'll take it, right? Uh, I need to parkour, I need to parkour, I need to parkour, I need to parkour soon. No, you don't. Get out of my face. Yeah. So, turning these guys into tars are actually not that big a deal. It's actually preferred. Which I know is kind of heartless, and I get that. But, like, listen, it's either you or them. So, Kukubilba. So, I got only eight so far. There should be more somewhere. Here's one. But, yeah, so, like, the reason why you also want to come here is because you can turn certain slimes into Saber Largos. And when you do. You now have the saber plorts to to work around, right? And it's super awesome. I don't know how much they're worth, but they're worth something. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, he lets me take them back home with me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he does. I'm just. Oh, there's a teleport. I can literally just leave right now. Should I? Yeah, I will. And here's why. Because this is just it. This is literally just it. Like this is literally just it, guys. It like all you do is run around the wilds here. You try not to get your face bit bitten off, and you collect these fruits for him, and then you give them to him, and in return, he gives you tofu. So, I should have a lot of tofu. Like, there it is. Spicy tofu. Never quite fill you up, so let me go to the Slimepedia and show you guys. Where is it? Yeah, spicy tofu. The spicy tofu is made from Ogun's own secret recipe. Best of all, if a slime is hungry, they're always willing to eat more. It's almost... Oh, no, never mind. So that's something else I'm thinking about. You're right. So this is how you get supposedly infinite plorts. You feed the spicy tofu... Oh, that's the wrong way. You feed the spicy tofu to your slimes. And 
they will always keep eating it. Like, they never get full. Oh, I went the wrong way. They will never get full, like, ever. So, you want to... Oh, see, now I can make the advanced pump because I've been using enough novice pumps or because a certain amount of days have gone by. I don't know. So, yes, yeah, so let me see. Do I want to... Let's get rid of these bogo fruits. They're not going to do many favors, but I will keep the spicy tofu. This is good. Right, and I got these six saber uh, plorts. What am I going to turn them into, though? Because I don't know... I'm going to be honest with you, even though... Oh, that's right. I can look at the slimes because... Saber slime. Favorite unknown diet is meat. Long exit... Though believed to be long extinct, the saber slime lives through the largo slimes in the wild. Yep. So there's no such thing as just the saber slime. You have to make a largo out of it. Otherwise, you know, that's it. So they don't... We don't know if they have a favorite. So we have to just have to mix them with something. What are we going to mix them with? Right? And where are we going to put them? Well, I know where I'm going to put mine. Uh, actually, I don't. <laughs> because... I could put them in the caves. I don't know any more slimes that desperately need, like, you know, shunned light. But if there is, if they do need it, I'll just move them again. I could put them where the lab is, but like, eh, right? So like, what am I going to mix them with? What should I mix them with? I don't really know. I'm going to get rid of the pogo foods. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with these things, but they're worth it because let me see how much they're worth. I'm not going to sell them because I'm going to use them to turn Largos. 86. So they're not worth as much as the quantums, but they're worth something. And I'm okay with that. Right? Uh, let's see. So what do we got? Like, if I'm just looking at this board here, definitely not anything below honey. Booms? That'd be difficult because booms only eat meat. I don't know what this is. I could make another quantum farm by getting six more quantum slimes. I must, I must hate myself <laughs> if I do that, though. Hunter, no, because it's meat. I'd have to make another lemon tree. Mm, it's actually pretty difficult, right? Because, like, I have two of everything already, except for tabbies, but tabbies already eat meat, so I can't do that. I think I might do... I think I might do quantum. It's going to be the death of me, but hey... It's a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> so let's see here. Let me just get all these mangoes. And... Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to do it in the next part. Because I, I remember in the previous parts, I was actually really bad at trying to end the part. So I'm sorry about that. But at the same time, like... It had to be done, right? Like, we've made so much progress. And at this point, I could go out of my way to get to the end of the ancient ruins. But I'm not going to, because then the game would end, and I don't want that happening yet. Because this is a game, like I said before, this is a game similar to, like, Minecraft, where it just never ends. Yeah, there's technically an end goal, but that's about it. But I still got three minutes to wait for these guys, but I'm not going to wait that three minutes during the part. I'll let you know what I got when the next part comes around. I need more phase lemons before these guys bite my face off. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I think I might do it. I think I might put a tree here. Hear me out. Yeah, put a tree there because there's a plot of land right there. <laughs> right? And put the saber quantums over there just in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> Which I highly doubt it will, but... I mean, hey, you gotta take your precautions, right? But anyway, I'm gonna call it a part here. And I'm gonna see you guys in part 18. Where we... I guess keep fiddling around with the lab. Take a look at certain things. Like, look, there's a treasure pod before I go. Treasure. Ooh, shiny. Deep brines? Interesting. Honeycombs. And a brilliant diamond. Oh, the diamond couldn't fit. Don't shoot the saber plorts in there. You can't get them back out. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going to call it a part. See you guys in part 18 when we continue doing miscellaneous things. See you later.